All right, what up? I just wanted to show you guys a quick little sheath I made for the legendary SEMA 1 survival knife, which I'm sure you guys have seen videos on, which I, qu I quite like this knife. It is super thick, and I'm, I'm guessing why they did that is because uh, I think it's 440, or no, 7CR17 MOV. And uh, it's a cheaper steel, so they made it super thick, so when you're batoning on it, it won't break or whatever. Um, I'd be surprised if this thing broke, because it's just so thick. But anyway, it's not about the knife, it's about the sheet. And uh, I made this with the, with the SEMA 1 clip that it comes with. I like this clip, a lot of people hate it, but uh, I, 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 I like it. It's kind of... Uh, not a drop leg, but almost, you know, you just got a, a, a inch above your belt, which isn't bad. And uh, it's easy to get on and off, and the retention on it is quite well, I don't, I doubt you can see it. It has a little bump here, so it catches your belt, so it won't come back off once you put it on, unless you really torque on it. Uh, it's got a fire, fire rod, which kind of locks when you turn it. Which is kind of cool, so you don't really need a shock cord, and you just turn it to lock it, and then it unlocks. Uh, I didn't intend for that, but uh, that's the way it came out. Pretty neat little feature. I was I was pretty proud of myself when I made this. Not gonna lie, it's it's not perfect, but it's a pretty good sheath, and it holds the knife really well. It's better than the original. It doesn't clink clink at all as where the original was just it was pretty noisy <laughs> but this knife now is dope and it's just so satisfying it clicks and everything it's just perfect got a little thumb ramp here and uh yeah the fit and finish isn't that well I wasn't that great at uh not sure how they do that. I got a really bad buffer wheel uh, from Harbor Freight. I don't think I paid enough for it. But other than that, pretty impressive. And I made it like probably, oh god, probably in uh, about an hour. So yeah. And I'm still waiting for my other sheets from Red Feather Gear. I don't know what is taking them so long, but. At this point, it's it's pretty frustrating. I've been waiting about four months. Their website says uh, a custom sheath order or just a regular sheath or whatever should take four to six weeks, I believe. So about a month. And I've been waiting about four, I think almost five months now. I've had a change in address. Uh, I've made my own, I made several sheaths already for most of my knives. Granted, the fit and finish isn't nearly up to their standards, but it's like, dude, where's my knife? <laughs> Instead of, dude, where's my car, where's my knife? You know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. At this point, I, I don't know if I'd recommend them. I'd probably go with someone else if you're going to get a custom sheath made. Honestly. I, I hate to say that because their sheaths are amazing. I think I, I got the other knife in here somewhere. <sighs> Their sheaths are just out of this world. And they're the only ones I've seen do the D-ring like this. Which I really like because it, it flows really nice. Like, most of you that hate dang, dangler, dangler sheaths, uh, you might need to try their, their set, setup out. You know what I mean? Because this is just, it actually dangles when you're sitting down. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I'm just rambling now. Peace out, guys. A town down.